So we're about 36 hours away, Seth. 40, less, less than 48 hours away from heading out on Coop's turkey hunting yeah. trip. And we noticed the tires on the front of the Suburban were not really lined up like they should be. So um, jacked them up and the front ball joints are gone on both sides. So there's no way getting it in anywhere tomorrow to get it fixed. So we uh, got a hold of AutoZone and we ordered uppers and lowers and the control, what was that other control arm link? And uh, so we're gonna jack it up tonight and kind of get started. We borrowed a few tools from them and see if we can get this thing, uh, see if we can get it going in the next 36 hours. I think we will, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah. So put that grease dirt back in there. Yeah. Just wait. How many hours before we leave right now? What time is it? It's 10.30. It's, no, it's 11. It's 11. We're going to leave tomorrow if we can. Earliest, we're about 24 plus. Four hours, so 28, 26, 28 hours. 28 hours away from leaving. And we got this side tore down completely and we actually added the lower ball joint so it's coming back together. Yeah. We worked on it how long last night? About two hours probably. Yeah. To get it. So lots of pieces yet. But it's eleven o'clock today. We still gotta buy groceries. I still need to hey, put load up down, here. That's not bad. No. There we go. So that we still gotta get that knuckle off, the knuckle joint or the hub and everything. Yeah. All right. That's there it is. So we're gonna do that right quick and then keep moving. I'm getting the tight. Yeah, you're not all right yet. Is it done yet? You're not all right yet. No, it is. There you go. Right? That way? Yeah. Yep. Nope. It's for cutting like this. It's not all the way off, is it? Just get it till it's hanging down real good. And then we're going to start and take your fork and you'll knock the upper one loose. That's, I don't want to replace that. That's what you were looking for. flat or at least below that lip then we can take those two off the top mm -hmm. that's how we broke it out last one. all right so it's what 3 30 p.m we hope to be on the road this time tomorrow yeah 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 right at it three or four somewhere we're right at just under 24 hours and getting close and all the heavy work's done both sides um Lower ball joints, upper ball joints, yeah. and oh, holy, thanks, buddy. Can I have another bite? Mmm, -hmm. thanks, buddy. Mmm, Coley or a little help. Yeah. We gotta pack it up, so shower, but we got tomorrow morning too. Yeah, it's tomorrow morning. And tomorrow after soccer games. Mmm, thank you. The keeper of the ice cream. Here we are. Where are we going, boys? I don't know. Turkey hunting, bear hunting to the mountains. We're not going bear hunting. Well, we kind of are. Okay. We're going, the bear shows up, we're going to shoot it. Hunting. How do you come? That's your iPad? No, yeah, wait, we're getting it tomorrow, dude. So it's, yeah, we're a couple hours later than we thought we would get Garo Hope, but we're awesome because we did a complete rebuild on the front end of this Suburban yesterday. Oops, sorry. 
and got that done and played soccer today and got everything packed. Got the bunkhouse hooked on. This is its third trip to this area in the bunkhouse? Yeah, third trip. Third trip up there. Got a beautiful sunrise. My second one, buddy. Yep. Yes, sir. All right. I've been looking forward to this trip since I heard Cooper drew that tag. I'm gonna do a little fishing while we're there. Yep. Are you gonna fly fish? No. You have to fly fish. I don't know, so. Why don't you? Don't, do you don't. I'll teach you. You wanna use my rod and we'll work on it? Yeah. Huh? All right, cool. Cooper? Yeah. You're gonna fish? Yeah. All you guys right. got your seat belts on? Fly fish. Seat belts. Case? Yes. All right. All right. Six days, man. There's a pair of hunters right there, man. <laughs> Gone, aren't they? Brothers to the bone. Hey, what'd you say? What was that? Are you calling turkeys? Zip you guys up. All right, boys, go to sleep. Four o'clock's coming early in the morning. <laughs> Chipmunks awake. They're about to be. I didn't say you. What's up, hey. thing one, thing two? Hey. I'll get up. We're burning Jesus daylight. Let's to go. You. Back on. It's chilly out here. I'm very I don't, cold. I don't know where your shoes are. So here's the deal. I got the whoopee in your seats. The whoopee so you guys can share the big whoopee for a minute till it warms up in the truck. In the suburban. It's not that cold. I mean, it's 45. Dude, what do we do with your shoes? I think they're in the truck. Did Would you, you come out here barefoot? Yeah. No. Um, no, I don't think. No. You, you I didn't. Know. All right, turkey hunters, day two begins, right? This is not well, really officially good. day one. Oh yeah. well, yeah. Oh well, really? Are we, we're no. We're not really gonna do any hunting. We'll no, we will to this afternoon. But we'll, like, you know, midday. But, but like, uh, but like around like. Mostly we'll be driving. Here we go, Joe. Here. Oh, you need a hug? No, what do you need? You need a hug? I wish you could have our phone and if it's like a turkey gobble, so then you can shoot it. That thing's blowing hot air. It's not working. That? I'm telling you, that thing never works. It's the thing that wants it. Oh, look out the window. Open your eyes. Isn't that something? There's the sign. That's crazy. We live in Arizona and we have to go to New Mexico to go to Arizona to hunt. What do you think about that? Did you boys ever consider that? Yeah, we've done it. <sighs> I know, but what's the craziness behind that? I mean, because I mean, the other, the, the, the road to stay in. Uh, yeah, I know, is uh, called the Arizona Devil's Highway. Got nicknamed the Devil's Highway. Yeah, let's not go reason. through that road. Yeah, you guys have done it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Scott's never done it. Yeah. 
God, he's still got his antlers. He's crazy. Yeah, look at that. Why do you still have your antlers? It's just I insane. really wish I had an elk. Actually, not. Boys, there might be some. Might see some elk or deer. I know, but it's. We're out in the middle of nowhere, man. New Mexico. What's so this? Would be uh, western, west central New Mexico. Yeah, it's it's uh, southwest, really. Cry like this the whole week, boy. Yeah. Come on, man up. Well, let's go get some sweatpants. Let's go get something to eat. It's kind of warm. Case, kind of warm. Case, go shove your head in the toilet. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, boys, be nice. Be nice. Coming. This is a neat place, I'm not gonna lie. Let's go get some food, boys. What did I have? They got those coffee cups. I'm gonna get another one. I don't like them because they're big. Oh, they sell them? Yeah, almost. Yeah, they're all over. Yeah, I'm gonna get one. Mandy, Mandy showed us. I think I got it. She thought it was a half order. You got there, Cooper? Hot chocolate. Oh, yeah. Ow. Yeah. You got hot chocolate? Yeah. Me and Dad's got coffee, huh? Yeah. Is that whipped cream on top? Whatever, 30 years ago or whatever, all the, the I'm do, I think I'm gonna do the fast the bacon and uh, a couple of eggs to that. Over easy would be fine. Cooper, why are you spanking your pancakes? <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Pretty good food, man. Pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. Shotgun shells? Oh, what do you mean? Did you grab your ammo for your shotgun? Nope, I don't have a shotgun. Did you grab the ammo for the shotgun that you're going to use to shoot the turkeys? No. And I asked you if you did. I didn't. No. Well, it's a good thing I did. <laughs> Sick <Again. laughs> Got you. Um, all right, what animal are you thinking of? Is primarily a carnivore. Primarily, yes. Okay. Eats meat. Kills and eats. Does it have feathers? Yes. A bird. Does it have Buzzet. a white head? Budget, budget. Yes. And a black body? Um, Ish. At times. Yeah. If it lives long enough. Eagle. Is it an eagle? It is an uh -huh. eagle. We got it. Uh, All right, I had to do turn? a bird. We hadn't done a bird yet. Yeah, we had to do a bird. What clue should I give you? Easy. You can literally say like an animal that's a clue or something. I'm thinking of an animal. Well, it's not that, I mean. I mean, Dad, you can literally give us a clue that's like a 
Okay, you're thinking of an animal that has eyeballs in the front of its head. So that should tell you a few things right there. Well, I, Is it a yeah. wolf? No. It's not a deer, no. Because deer have eyes on the side of them. Mm. Is it a fox? No. Uh, Any more guesses? Pigeon. Yeah, we have no. guesses. It's not a pigeon. Does it weigh more than 50 pounds when it's grown? Um, it can. But that, but, to yeah, say, think small that's possible. Boys. So that would be like the largest one that would of them. Be a very, very, very big one. Yes. All right, boys, we're thinking small. What's a small predator that lives on the North American continent besides a fox and a coyote? Because we've already oh, shot them. He said those. it's not any kind of like a rat, canine. Rat. Like that it's not a rat. It's not a rat. Well, that's not a bear. It doesn't have canines. It has canines. Yes. It's not a canine. Is it somewhere anywhere in the canine family? No, it's not a canine. How many legs does it have? Four. But we want to keep it as a pet. Yeah, if you found a baby, you try to keep it. Would you let us keep it? No. I think it's illegal. Alright boys, well it's back to 745. See, we went from 845 to 745. So we've just gained an hour. Our trip's that much shorter. Alright, um does not have eyes or ears, you said? See them all over there, boys? Walking out of the timba. So how much longer until we get back? Hang on. Oh, goodness bless you. What we're going to do about your daggum shoes, boys? When we leave here, I'll, we'll, I'll start my turn, okay? Because we're almost... There. Where's the store you thought might sell shoes here? No, it's up in either Springerville or Springerville or Eager. There's people sitting on the pumps, aren't they? Yeah, I just wish they would. Boys, you're awful quiet, not asking a lot of questions. I just asked that. Were you not paying attention? He said yes. Fully grown, yes. So that tells me, and he thought about his answer, so it's not a whole lot bigger. A fox. No. Oh, but is a fox bigger than a loaf of bread? Yeah, when it's fully grown. A loaf of bread's not very big, dude. Loaf of bread is like a possum fully grown to me would be loaf of bread size. That group of mammals. Yeah. Or, or well, that's why I said land of oh, legs. Yeah. Well, I knew it had to be a snake or a fish then. Right. What was the name of that fire that the wallow fire? The wallow. So this is we're hunting up in the wallow fire. At, at the time, 12 years ago now or so, 11, 12, it was the largest in Arizona. It still is. It still yes. is. Over 500,000, I think. Why not? You should. I can tell everyone. Well, that's fine. I probably will. If we see one today, I will gladly shoot it. And then we'll have to figure out what the heck we're going to do with all the meat. Dad, give me, Dad, give me, cut, give me a barrel that's like the
Um. All right. Oh, nope. About there. That's. That might do it anyway. Yeah, I think you can clear that. Pull her back in. Well, the good thing, but they still need this bucket on. Yeah, I'm getting them on. There they go, right through there. Yeah, hey, right case, over that wall. There's a pair of bells. Hey, you boys think we're in the right spot to turkey hunt? Yes. yes. <laughs> hey, we're here, boys. What do you think of that? Cooper, come here. Your turkeys went right up over that hill. Me and your dad just watched them. All right, boys. Hey, remember what I told you? Stay back on the logs. You're good back here, buddy. Come look at that. See if you like it. I like it. No, it's the dust. Book. Oh. Dust right, bunny. Yeah, dust bunny. Mm -hmm. What do we need to do first, boys? Poo -poo. <laughs> Dig a cat hole. We may give you that job, Cooper. You got to find a good one downwind of the camp. Downhill. Shadows, isn't he? Yeah. Grandpa Kimmy would be proud of that, boy. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. talk. He was bedded down in here, wasn't he? 
<laughs> sure was. He's going up the road now. Yeah. Oh, darn. There he goes up over the top. Yep. He already. Well, yeah, we all. I mean, full velvet, didn't he? Yeah, he's a good size. I found him. Hey. Yeah, that was a good, good spot. Good call. <laughs> Dad, if that was a moose, what, I'd hey, be. What did you call him? You said a moose, didn't you? Dad, that was a moose. <laughs> I'm like, what? And I saw those antlers. I was like, oh my gosh. Yep. Yeah. Pull right up on him, didn't we? The shed's up in here somewhere. Mm -hmm. He just hit his antlers. It's a big body deer. It makes me wonder if it's not a. Because he's by himself, too. That's kind of weird. That's no, he's not. Listen. There's two. There's the other one. It's right above him. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't see the one below. Yeah, there's those. Huh. Shadows, trees. Yeah. And I think I may put the decoys like out on the road. Yeah. And I'm you know, kind of nervous about putting that gobbler out there, but if somebody was going to sneak in there and shoot him, I think we're going to set up higher than he is. So if we can see the road both through.
After traveling many miles, setting up camp, and making our first attempt to call in a gobbler, Cooper's first day of his 2022 mountain turkey hunt ended with much optimism. We had an awesome campsite in a truly wild place, and we had already seen turkeys, deer, elk, and even eight bighorn rams. We couldn't wait to hunt turkeys, look for shed antlers, and do some trout fishing over the days to come. Everyone was excited about what this trip held in store, and on day two, one of us will have a once in a lifetime wildlife encounter so rare that it is almost unheard of. Stay tuned and keep looking for your next adventure.